Thanks for joining us for another episode of Vampires and Vitae. It's always a pleasure to have you with us at our table. I like normally, every week we do start off with a little bit of a backstory from what happened the week before. Tyler, can you take it away? Uh, of course, it's what I do best. Uh, what's up, everybody? In the last episode, we finished Day's fight with Ginsu, uh, which ended in a more or less stalemate, um, kind of uh, both showing off a little bit of their powers, gaining a little bit of respect for each other. Uh, and then they all decided collectively it was a good idea to hit up the club. Uh, it was kind of Ginsu's idea, actually. You know, the five ways. Of the five ways. So we headed on out. Um, I believe on the way there, Day got a notification for something called the Emperor's Package. <laughs> yeah. It has something to do with cars. Not really sure what it's supposed to do, but... You know, when in doubt, uh, agree to the terms and conditions. So, <laughs> What's the end of the world, right? Yeah, so Not something's going on with that. Uh, we showed up at the club. We had to get in through this side door that Lawrence was able to get through because he could manipulate this uh, cube. It was kind of like a Rubik's Cube, almost like a puzzle box. Mm -hmm kind of vibe going on. Uh, Day tried to do it, um, moved it a little bit, but not enough to, you know, really mean anything significant, but significant for a vampire who shouldn't be able to do it at all, I guess. Sure, absolutely. Uh, getting into the club, it was an awesome scene, a lot of music going off, giant Buddha statue, blasting music, lights going, Rasputin and the Jessica decided to hit the dance floor, uh, as did Danica. Um, they did a dirty dancing duet, which was just... So beautiful for everybody involved. Um, Anna got her snack um, and had an argument with one of the security bouncer kind of guys about the logistics of uh, what feeding really is, uh, which is hilarious to listen to because she just wasn't getting it. Um, then she decided it was time to figure out who's playing all of this damn music. So snuck off from the group and got to the third level by herself, uh, where she met a woman named Jinx, yep. who is manipulating um, like social media and the music in the club and all of the uh, video and audio that's going on there. As they're having their back and forth, uh, Day thought it'd be a good idea to try and see if Lawrence could pop a light bulb. Um, <laughs> In so doing, yes. he popped a light bulb himself, which really pissed off Jinx, because this is her place, and you don't touch her stuff. Uh, so she had us all basically uh, escorted up, and as she was getting us escorted up, she noticed that it's mother fucking Jessica. <laughs> yeah. That's what's going on. That's what's happening. Welcome to the Vampire Club. <laughs> Directions around the table. Um, what are you playing tonight? I am Anna, Tremere, Blood Magic, apparently very sneaky because I got past all of the security guys in the club last week. Ooh. So sneaky. Also, not a big fan of Jessica. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Tyler, who are you playing today? Um, I am playing uh, Daedrith, known as Day, the uh, thin blood homebrew who is coming off of a lot of drugs and the music is just pounding. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Sarah. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm playing Danica. I didn't really do much. I snatched some people with Rasputin. You threw a phone in a drink. I did throw a phone in a drink. I have no phone now. <laughs> Italy was calling. Yeah. <laughs> you might yeah. want to find a way to reach out. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's just uh, jump right into the episode. How did you possibly beat Ginsu? Possibly. Pardon? And is that motherfucking Jessica? <laughs> I don't like her either. <laughs> For the first time she smiles, okay. Oh yeah, we don't like her. You look over your shoulder and you start to hear people being pushed out of the way on them. Okay. It's like a little, there's a V in front of a Ginsu. As he's charging his way up to the, the booth. She's looking at you expectantly. 
What? So you're friends with Jessica? Really? I hardly call us friends. Uh, you showed up at my club together, so... So you mean to tell me that everybody who comes to a club with somebody else is BFFs? Ginsu kind of rushes finally through. Not that he's out of breath because he's a vampire, but definitely a little bit more disheveled than he was downstairs. There What's was... the big deal? <clears throat> I... <clears throat> My apologies, Miss Jinx. Uh, I wanted to introduce a new faction that is here to try to stop the encroachment of Set into our country, into the world. I would have preferred to talk to you first. Looks at you. Keep but looking. Obviously, this is not the way that it worked. Uh, this is Anna, um, child of Rasputin, and has been very useful to us so far. Downstairs, he looks in like Rasputin is still just having the time of his life. <laughs> the Jessica is dancing, you know, I mean, like they, they're, they're not dancing together, but there seems to be a synergy forming in between Rasputin and, you know, and the Jessica. I believe you know the Jessica. And she goes, yes, 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 yes. I've met the Jessica. Rasputin oh, wait, you know Jesse? How do you know Jesse? For no good reason, honestly. If you meet him, it's never a good reason to have, have him here. He's lovely. What do you mean? Lovely. Last time he was in our city, he killed 45 people. That was kind of his job. Well, yeah, that's why you don't want him around. Ah, he's been all right with us. I mean, I guess it's perspective. I mean, at the end of the world, fine. Is it good for him to be here? Yes. But is it good for him to be around ever? No. That means that we're all in lots of shit. I know. Snakes are falling from the sky. I'm aware of all this. But I don't think that I'd prefer him in my club. And Anna's just like, yeah, like as, mocking this, the head. Well, yeah, no, not mocking, movement. but like she, this girl definitely has like a weird inflection when she's speaking and it's kind of making Anna twitchy because it's so weird sure and Anna's just kind of like her head is yeah really trying to figure her out like, kind of what, feel. what is this and and about? and who and who and I say who is that asshole that blew up one of my lights you know they're all here for a reason and at this point like, all of my friends yes we're all here to save the world like, you too and they're like can you please come with me yeah yeah get, one second one second guys one second Lawrence, can you fix the goddamn light bulb? <sighs> Fine, really? Right. Yep, yeah, just. She knows you broke it. Yeah. Fine, don't fix it. I don't give a shit. As you walk, like the light bulb fix, and upstairs in the booth, you see her smile. That's a little bit better. Honestly, have you ever stepped a toe? That's what it feels like when you screw with my electronics. I mean, do you want me to bring Jessica up here so you two can talk about your differences, I or want... do you want to have a fit about the oh, light no, bulb? Oh, no, 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 no. Jessica can stay. Downstairs, I'll talk to the rest of you. <laughs> this suits me just fine. Mm. Like Rasputin is now getting crowded, like crowded up. He's not thrilled with it. Like, what do you mean? I'm having great time. Last dance. This is fine. You will not see me be lifted in the air. And they're like, no, you have to come with us, sir. I'm sorry, you've been requested. So it's like, fine, like, like VIP room. Okay. I want to uh, communicate with Kindred Sire. Oh, cool. Please. It's like, who do you think you are? It's gonna, uh, you need to make a rouse check? Yeah, there's something there that happens. Yep, the light bulb does come back. Nice. I pop another one. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, man. <laughs> Vampire, you do whatever you want. <laughs> Remember, we're not heroes here. Yep. You're getting corralled as well, Sarah. I was gonna say, like, am I yeah. just getting left down? No, no, no. no. It's, You're getting it's only for a long distance. Uh, I mean, like, it's it's a uh, like you, the Jessica, and the vampire. There's like five guys. They seem legit. Um, you you realize that they're wearing the same suits that at the thing. So these guys may not be a guy to screw with, but I mean, you can go with them or not. Oh well, yeah. I'd probably see Rasputin. In I mean, like, it's Rasputin, like, a Juxtacar and you. So, I mean, that's a pretty horrible threesome. I mean, like, that is a ridiculous amount of power in room. So if you want to stop it, you can. Nah. So you're getting herded up. You're getting herded up. 
with Lawrence, Lawrence right yeah. this way, like three stories. Did you say Jesse had a beard? He does have oh, a yeah. bald head, and he still has that. You said he had salt and pepper hair last time. No, he's bald, and he has the uh, the the the, the black and white has hand, the hand print that goes through. He he's bald, okay. and he has a. I'm just like hand rubbing print. my hands on his bald sure. head. Sure. Yeah, he's cool with that, man. He's <laughs> fucking high out of his mind. He hasn't probably done this in hundred years. You know, he, he's he realizes the craziness that we're all in, and that you're in a safe place for a moment. Maybe he's sown some last oats. You know. I mean, you can infer that or not, but... Sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So we're going upstairs. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're being ushered. You're being ushered upstairs. Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. You guys finally get to the top of the stairs. Everyone gets pushed in the room. You hear Anna, like, being defensive. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. I'm not friends with Jessica. I'm like, I Oh, my God, I this. hate Jessica. Like, it's like... I was doing this, like this, the soft shoe. Like I think this is still a thing, right? That we all still do soft shoe, like not like what the piranha the and like. Fuck as are you talking about? It's dancer. more like you know the sprinkler, like fox trot or the grocery cart. Oh, I know grocery trot. Take things off thing. and then pull it in the cart. Have you ever seen? And like at this point, you guys have collaborated together. It's like, have you seen shower? I walk in. I'm like, I was doing a thing with Lawrence. What the f- God damn it! All right. Like, is this the asshole that like broke the thing? Oh, hey, what's up? I f- we fixed the bulb. She like looks down, and like hits a couple buttons. It's like, huh? You did. I was doing a thing with my friend here. I was trying oh, to teach him something. Yeah. He's been teaching me. I was doing a thing. Like you see her take in Lawrence. Well, hi, Lawrence. You uh. You seem a bit different. And she kind of takes in all of you guys again. A l- more than a more than a bit different. Like, a lot different. Like, maybe a lot different. Like, like all the way different. Lawrence, what the hell did you do? And she looks over to you guys. What the hell did you do to him? We saved him. We made him feel better. Yeah. Made him feel better? He's given up. What did you sell to get yourself to this position? Is his, this his re- soul? And then I laugh. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to he laugh. He didn't later. sell anything. I think we gave him things. Like Lawrence has like a half chuckle. He goes, well, I mean, I I didn't sell anything. It's like, you... And she like reaches out and touches his shoulder. Touches his shoulder. Takes it right back. like it was, As if it was hot. Whoa, you got a lot of energy coming off of you. Uh... Okay, okay. Definitely I, I can't touch, be in I my touch, booth. I touch Lawrence. I'm like, huh. Oh, and, and, and <laughs> actually, at the moment that you touch Lawrence, one of her knobs sparks. It seems to go down, I think. Okay, that's interesting, but also weird and bad. No more touching for a little bit, okay? I reach out and touch Lawrence. <laughs> Nothing happens. Mm. Everyone just starts I reach out and touch Anna. Nothing happens. <laughs> I reach out to touch Rasputin. She, We're she, all forming a circle. She, she, she's, she's now seeing the thing, and she just increases the music slightly. In the, like, I like, reach out and touch the Jessica. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Scar's like, I want to be touched, man. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> I pull it back. It's oh, good. It's like, oh. Right. I send a text to the driver that has Cerberus. Be like, bring him back. Okay. Um, car immediately flips around. Lawrence's, uh, sorry, uh, Serpus goes, oh, yay! <laughs> like, as, as it speeds up and like pushes more hair, hair and realizes he's heading towards your direction. Um, so, about the skinny vampire and the lost son of the Kaw family. Who? The Kaw family. You know, Who? kind of important. Oh, the Ka family. Yeah, they have uh, the, like the show in Vegas. Ka is a great show. Great show. Oh, right. With the circus. Yeah, yeah. They do the flips and shit. Right. Then the trapeze. I love yeah, the trapeze. Yeah. Oh, when they bring out the, like, the wall and it goes sideways. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. And, and, and you just see Lawrence just like putting his hands in his face. Just being like, no, nah, guys. Your dress that's... feels so cool. I know, right? All of the sequence is so Lawrence, great. are you an acrobat? Uh, 
Well, Lawrence, you're in the show. <gasps> no. Oh, he that's did, why he was in Vegas. Did, did he do a backflip earlier? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. That, yep. that would track. Okay. Yeah. I know it all makes sense. Backflip or was it front flip? Also, you like Uber as a side hustle. I get it. I get it. Okay. Like, like Rasputin just starts laughing. Ha ha ha! You are just simple person in show. I knew it. Nothing <laughs> important. How do you live? And the uh, Jinx looks up and goes, "Live, live, live. What did you do?" What did you do to one of our kind? Do you mean like when I tried to eat him or? Danica, I swear to God, I still owe you a smack for that shit. That's fine. I don't care. What? What did I? I didn't do shit. And Rasputin goes like, so I took like a little bit of A. I mixed it up with a little bit of B. I did some fun shit in the center. And now you have a new thing. Isn't it nice? It's like if you have like hybrid car. Yeah, it's like a Venn diagram. Yeah, it's like similar, but like more like circuits, like 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 sharing power. She looks very distraught. Like those things should not have ever, ever been put together to be complete. Oh my God, this is this is this is over even my head. <sighs> okay, um, I gotta make a phone call first. Uh, and she like looks up, as if she's. Like texting in her mind. Okay, cool. No problem. They're waiting for us. I need all of you to come with me. This is... It's, it's, it's beyond my pay grade. We haven't seen something... I don't think anyone's seen something like this before. You, you, you Frankensteined two individuals that should have never been put together. And, I mean, with Set showing up. And, I mean, like I, I respect you, Ginsu, but this is just... I, I can't feel this. Somebody else has to. I will feel it. Or do you want me to stay here and take care of your dance floor? I'll do DJ. Ooh, Anna, can you DJ? I can totally DJ. Oh, Anna, did you find the snacks? I'm so hungry. Yeah, they're down there. Where? They're we down do there. not <gasps> have time for snacks. And Jessica shows up at this but point. But I'm so hungry. Yeah, so Jessica finally like, has found her way up. I uh, mean, like, and you saw all of, like, her being blocked by security guards when she says she can stay down here. The security uh, like, arrives, I guess. Well. Oh, God. Hi, Jinx. So the group collectively sighs. Just, oh. oh. <laughs> Jessica, I don't think that your friend Jinx is a big fan of yours. And I can't I'm, imagine why. I'm, 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 I'm very aware, but... I think it's time that we went to the way of five ways to find out a little bit more about everything that's happened here. I mean, I've been part of the vampire collection for quite a long time now, and I don't I don't think there's a precedent for what's happened in between a a Mr. Day and a Mr. Lawrence. There's there's a little bit of of distance and connectivity that I just don't have an ability to understand. Well, if you think that's weird, check this out. If I could take Rasputin's can and I stick it in the ground, it falls over. God damn it! <laughs> 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 and Rasputin goes, "Still don't get can, no." Yes, he, he like he, no, he leans over. It works. He's, just... he's like, "You got to find bigger hole." Oh, God damn it! <laughs> It's so simple. <laughs> Big moments, but like you need to choose moments. Yeah, I'm still a little high. There's yeah, a lot of holes. Yeah, like, best time to dive into holes. Yeah, I'll, figure, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Anyways, where are we going? Something about the five holes in the five ways. I'm trying that. Oh, I really hope it's a cafe. Day is trying not to be embarrassed right now. So yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm yeah. hoping it's the holes that they cut out of the donuts. Ooh. Can we just? Go. To, oh, all right. This is this is Jessica. Can we just go to the five ways? If that's okay. I mean, like honestly, there's no like. Jane, she goes. Of course, we can go to the five ways. Like this is where we're going. This is what we're doing right now, and we need to leave. Uh, uh, the club essentially runs, it, runs itself anyway at this point. So, just follow me, okay? Wait, guys, we gotta wait for my dog though. He'll be outside, I'm sure. Did you call him back? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably be outside by the time we get down there. If he's not, we're not going anywhere. Ah! I figured it out. What? Jessica and Jinx don't like each other because they're sisters. 
Oh. One's Asian, one's it doesn't very matter chalk white at all. <laughs> oh yeah, no, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, right? Do you yeah. see it? Yeah. Do you see it? Oh no. yeah, totally. Um, yeah. No, I see it. I see it on. I see yeah. it. I'm seeing what you're seeing. I'm picking yeah. up what you're putting down. Yeah. Are you sure it's not the mushrooms? I don't think it is. I think I'm on right in this one. Roll a wits and <laughs> insight check. <laughs> Everybody or uh, just her? Roger. And I want one nine. <laughs> I'm like minus one success. <laughs> oh, they're sisters. <laughs> minus one success? No. I mean, you, you made that thing. You don't get any reaction out of it. Okay. I guess my jokes didn't land. Yeah, right. Tough room. Whatever. So are we going to go or... We haven't corralled all around town, but yeah, I guess we can go to another place. <gasps> oh. So Jinx looks at everybody goes, hey, okay, just come with me. It's right down the hall. She starts leading. You guys follow? or Of course. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Big group. You got like all the security guards. You have uh, Ginsu leading them at this point. Rasputin shirt is now unbuttoned right around his navel. You know, just a car has loosened up his shirt, not quite as undone as Ras. You guys are a very large, what looks to be like a service elevator at the end of the hall. Okay. Just a button, opens up, the grate comes all the way up. And left room. He goes, no, I'm sorry, we don't have room for quite everybody. The uh, security, obviously, Ginsu. Um, you know, our regulations, only so many at a time. He nods, and the other security guys back up, and they make a thing against the wall. Yeah, all the rest of you pile in, and then Jessica's, like, walking up. He goes, ah, you can catch the next one. I will wait with Jessica, then. Okay. Bye, Jinx. Mm -hmm. Door closes. You guys are now going down. And it goes down for quite a while. Ding. Ding. It gets a little bit faster. Ding. 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 You start to feel the the G's as you're dropping faster and faster and deeper and deeper. And I'd say 35 feet, 35 floors. I'm fucking with the, the light on the elevator. It's like, psst, psst. psst. Lawrence looks over, stop. <laughs> it's funny, right? Hey, yeah, hey, I'm not saying it's not funny, but it's just not here. All right, all right. And yes, I want to learn how to do that later. But okay, all right, <laughs> we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk. All right, yeah. The doors, it's, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah. The doors open, and... Psst. 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 <laughs> Bro. What? They don't know doors open gate goes up and what you see a very naturally lit room and why it's hard to all of you that are seeing this is that it's almost like it's daylight it's just very natural and you look up and you see glowing orbs and it's been so long for all of you. It's warm like it used to be. It's embracing. I don't know. Like, have you ever been grounded for a long time and then finally get to go out with your friends? No. I guess <laughs> not. All right. Um, I was a good kid. All right. right. It's, it, it's, it, it's the feeling of a prisoner that's been stuck behind bars forever. And even though they get to go outside for a little while, they can smell the fresh air and get a little piece of it. The difference of walking out of the prison and having that true breath of free and fresh air. You get a little sense of that. It's the closest thing that you had to sunlight since the day you returned it's like a pizza pie that's split into five different areas 
And in the dead center are large, look like lava rocks. They go up. Each one of the pie uh, centers has one of it in the center of the room. And all of these triangles are split with the river of mercury. Metal, silver, mm. running towards the center of the room. And instead of a waterfall that runs down rocks, after a moment you can tell that it's running up the center rocks. In the very center of it is one bead of the quicksilver that seems to hover. All of the sections are different. The one's covered with moss, and vines and trees, trees inside. Another one has nothing but computers. Another one has nothing but clocks that are melted in and changed and you can hear. Another one you have are pieces of earth that seem to be segmented as if they were pedestals themselves like lily pads, which is sections of earth. As you look around, you see these five rooms, all of them, not five rooms, but five different sections of this round room. And there's Beyond kids being like chaperoned by a doll or a group of three trying to work on something. You look over to the one that's the, what appears to be a little bit more nature specific. And they are, you know, one creates a shrub out of his hand from the ground. And the other one grabs the top of it and smashes it down. And another tree like pops up the same size over there. It all seems to be hijinks a little bit like, middle school kind of things if you had a if you had a power but you you you, you start to see and this could be a bit of a hogwarts a little bit of a training room for those that are happen to be inclined another thing that does a that that you guys notice there's not a lot of kids maybe three kids per per section two adults walking around instructing no don't do this yes do this you know like you see one of the bushes catch on fire and he runs over and tries to put it out you know it's like no 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 no, no. this is completely wrong and uh she goes hey well, well welcome to the five ways <laughs> Lawrence. Oh. we have a lot to talk about yeah, i'm gonna look over to lords and see how he's looking you hear ding the elevator's gotten back up Jesus Christ, Jessica, it's no wonder that nobody likes you. I mean, why are you always such a party pooper? I am always. Uh, I have never pooped a party. I don't know what you're exactly talking about. I'm sure about, you've but... never pooped. Well, what, what, I, are you saying that I am just too restrictive, honestly? I mean, or... you're a little bit too rigid and buys the book all of the time. It it's, must be exhausting. Somebody has to care about the... The, the finer movements of things. In fact, I think I'm quite, pers- p- quite progressive. I- I've I've united with a vampire. Your sire, by the way, out of you, all the people united here, united with my sire. Oh, That's gross. Don't be gross. I would never. I thought that it was a well, maybe valid. You should. But I would never. <laughs> it is. This is. I. I. No one of my kind has ever dived into blood magic and I thought it would be an interesting study for me to look after. And this is interesting. Of course it's interesting. Oh my god. You have no idea the things he says about you. I... And she just walks into the elevator. Straightens her. Wait a minute. What do you mean the things that he says about me? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, he just speaks highly. She hits the button a couple times. You know you only have to press the button once. I... I I'm quite aware. In fact, she shape she shifts and she's gonna move herself from where she is to downstairs. She's been here before. So now you're alone in the elevator. Oh, even more irritating when she's not here. I pull the thing down. Mm-hmm. Um Jessica arrives, straightens up her pencil skirt before the elevator stops. Although it's fast, it's not that long. Mm-hmm. Ding! Again, Jesus Christ, Jessica. No wonder. How did the babysitter beat you? I don't know. Oh my God, I fucking hate 
just got that goddamn bitch. <laughs> she's so mean. <clears throat> she, she's mean. She, she's walking around. Obviously, she knows people here. She's actually being embraced. Like, like you guys have never seen Jessica truly. Like, even with Rasputin, Rasputin was probably more. Like, I get to talk to, like, a magician all the time. Like, she's interested in this. Like, doesn't really give her respect, but mm-hmm. doesn't also harass her. Mm-hmm. Like, she's she's being embraced by the kids, by the uh, by the adults. There's a little, little handshake somewhere, like a little special thing that mm-hmm. she does mm-hmm. when she goes to the technocrat area. I mean, you know, it's fine that we have a problem with Jessica, but this Jinx girl having a problem with Jessica makes me have a problem with this Jinx girl. Can we just figure out what's going on? Because we got Hermione Granger over here doing her weird thing. Lawrence is a part of a Vegas show. I popped a I'm light not bulb. Part I don't of a Vegas show. I just look. I, I ran away from all of this. Not ran. They just wanted too much out of me. There's a lot of dedication, especially from who. Um, the people before me, my bloodline, they've done some impressive things. And I didn't really feel that comfortable staying here. It's it's like being told you're going to go to Harvard when you're like four. Yeah, I can't relate. Can you imagine having Rasputin as your sire? He at least seems fun. Trust me, all these people have I mean, a lot of fun. I mean, he is fun, but he has his goddamn moments. <laughs> I mean, I and he looks over to you. He's like, I, I know you had a horrible sire too. It, it just, it's it's not a bad thing to try to want to be your own man. It's not. I mean, yeah, we, we, I we, mean, we, from, Lawrence, from the moment we I, we, you, you know, you left a man, you came back an ancient. What is? And like he like looks at you like when you say that ancient, he's like shakes his head. I'm like, what? Just don't. <laughs> Don't make it worse than it already is. It's, it's, I've like skipped like 10 grades. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, we, we actually gave you the gears. I, I so. know, but like you see to your right, the one that was helping the kids with all the nature. The adult looks at Lawrence and gets down on one knee. See, I just like to say that Danica and the Jessica are, are rolling around in the grass. While sure, this is happening, sure. it, it's beautiful grass. It is, it is completely gorgeous. Do, do you notice this or Kentucky bluegrass? Yeah, right. It is. It is thick. It is. Cushy. Yeah, it couldn't be better. It's like yeah. a memory foam mattress. Mm. And then you see another one of the teachers apparently get down on one knee, and you see another one, and then another one, and it just goes around the circle until it completes itself. And she goes, ah, oh, shit. Anna gets down on one knee. <laughs> Don't stop. Get up. Get up. Get well, up. This seems is bad like the thing way it that is. everybody is supposed to be this doing. Is, Dave makes a very exaggerated, like, <laughs> double knee bow. And I'm like, we are not worthy, Lord. I swear to God, I won't teach you a damn thing if you don't get off your knees. All right, all right, all right. Does Ross Putin get down on one knee? Ross Putin goes like, okay, so, like, I made him. All of you bow to me, right? It's like. No one. I bow again. Yeah. Oh, you're not worthy, Rasputin. At least I got one. Like this has got. You know how hard this shit was. Like, make a vampire into like half magician. Definitely difficult. And you hear like, <gasps> like across the room. Like, As Day's doing his like dramatic bow, Danica's just in the grass, fully on her stomach, like stretched out <laughs> towards Lawrence. <laughs> the Jessica are just hanging out with you. He's like, he's like, we're all gonna die anyway, man. <laughs> this is hey, hey, hey Jesse, is... don't turn into a bad trip. Just keep the keep the good moods up. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Good yeah. vibes only, Jesse. He's like, hey, come on, come on, come on. Everybody up, everybody up, everybody up. I I haven't earned your respect. I know what you think happened, but this is not. And then like one of them comes over and he takes his arm. He's like, no. This is unnecessary, and like he starts getting led away in a certain direction. He's like, I don't, and he's protesting as he's being taken away. I look over at Anna, I'm like, they grow up so fast, don't they? They really do. <laughs> Jinx comes over and goes, So, you guys did exactly what to him? We gave uh, him the gears. Yeah, yeah, we gave him the gears, man. The gears. 
Gears. Who gave him the Gears? I gave you him gave? one. I gave him one. Mine was little and very silver. Mm-hmm. He's cute. She like lock sides with Rasputin. You son of a bitch. Excuse you. Excuse him. How did you even get them? Rasputin goes. It doesn't matter how sometimes I play poker, sometimes I play other things. I got them one way or another. I made an ancient. You're welcome. Also, go ahead and be angry if you want to, Jinx. But to be fair, he saved Lawrence. You should be thanking him. I save him. Maybe I saved him. Maybe I made experiment on him. Who different cares? It's, he's here now, yes? I mean... <laughs> Rasputin are trying to make the situation better. Oh, could see the sorry. Word experiment he, he, like, out he, like, of it. Like he he does do one button up from his belly button. Like I'm sorry. Like I figured we just party and like they are party poopers. I mean, Danica's is still having a great time. Hi guys, <laughs> have you nice. felt this grass? <laughs> <laughs> so you. <laughs> Welcome to vampire. Guys, come, come feel the grass. Oh my God. <laughs> Sometimes, you guys, I mean, I swear to God, I mean, I try to keep it on track, and then you're just rolling around in grass. Well, she's not MDMA. <laughs> like, Isn't that what you do when you're, like, rolling? Oh, yeah. Everything you're literally feels rolling. nice. Yeah. I am not saying that what you're doing is not character specific, because it sure as fuck is. <laughs> but, like, That's great. All right. Okay, so, Jinx, long story short, because I'm not going to give you the thick of it. I'm going to give you the skinny. Lawrence saved all of our lives. He changed an entire timeline about five minutes back. And then... Well, five minutes is what he could do. You have no idea what he can do now. I'm sorry. Did did, did the middle of my sentence interrupt the beginning of yours? Well, then you go right ahead, half-breed. You you asked... Oh, excuse you. You do not speak to my friends like that. And this is my friend. You want answers or not? That cell phone starts heating up in your pocket again. Well, that's fine. Do you want the cell phone? And I throw it at her. Well, the watch starts heating up in your hand. So I take it off and throw it at her. I don't want your. She will get things. naked. I hope you know that. <laughs> I don't want these tech things that mean nothing to me. Anyways, Jinx, we were all about to die. He pulled us back about five minutes. He started phasing in and out of reality. We put him on a helicopter to Russia. And Rasputin was the only man that could have saved him. And we did something because he deserved it. And he's alive. And now I can move shit sometimes. And he's apparently very powerful. I really don't see the issue. He was on the track when he was a child to become something important. And and he got there on his own accord. So On his own accord? You just said you put... Gears in him, and he stares again into Rasputin. Gears, I still need to. And Rasputin goes, I won't tell you the story of how I got the gill. Just leave it alone. Goes, ah, fine, that's not the important part. To be a leader of our people isn't just ability or power. You essentially gave him a nuclear bomb that he could set off by accident at any time. He's gone through none of the training, none of the information. Sure, he can reach out and touch things now, but he has no clue of what the repercussions will be. He's alive. Oh, now? Because what? of us. This leader that you're so incredibly... There hasn't been an ancient in any of our disciplines for over 200 years. You're welcome. Right? I feel like we've done yeah, you a favor. High five. I, all right? I don't understand what your problem the is. The ancients, and she points to all the children, are supposed to come up together. I am never going to be an ancient. Oh, ever. Boo, who? I oh, teach. That's what this is about. Oh, she's, she's jealous. jealous. Okay. I put my entire life into the teaching of the next generation. A uh-huh. Rasputin could just do the same thing to you, right? Yeah, you want to do some gears? There's no, no possibilities like one-time shots. Yeah. It's like when you meet Dancer for the first time. Either you close or you don't. Yeah, it's true. So I'm hearing that you're out of gears. I'm out of gears, yes. No more gears. Mm. Only for time. Make good sense. Gears only work for time idiots. I cannot do... 
earth, I cannot do science, I cannot do fire, no water, like, cannot do the other spears. Okay, so what you're saying, Rasputin, is you did in a day what they've been trying to do for 200 years? That's a baller move. Well, first of all, I'm Rasputin. Second of all, theory, like, it was like, you all could have died, except... Like her, you know, the not, I would not kill her, but like all of you could have died. Well, that's not right. Very nice, prosecuted. Oh, like I am nice guy? Well, not I mean, nice guy. Usually you are a nice guy. I am interested in world. Right. Which is currently des- being destroyed by snakes. Why is no one paying attention to snakes? I don't know. This one over here is yelling at us for making an ancient when all we did was save a life. For a change, we're vampires. I know, right? Wait, did you say snakes? Are there snakes in the grass? No, Dan, there's like no snakes snake. in the grass. Good vibes, good vibes. It's okay, okay, yeah. okay right. good vibes. <laughs> One of the kid looks over to you and like puts his like middle finger into this into the ground, and a snake does. Oh my god! Uh, I thought day on a. It's a small snake. It's a, like a garden uh, snake. Like a garden snake. <laughs> day, you said there was no snakes. You lied. Oh. Anna eyeballs the kid. He stares right back at you. And I stare right back again. But the you child are... is messing with you. I am trying to intimidate the child to see you lock the eyes. And you squint. <laughs> he just, he like <laughs> opens a book that's next to him that's like this thick. Uh huh. And just starts reading. So, yeah, Jinx, again. I get you've got this whole academy thing going on, this little X-Men factory, it's... but we, you know, oops, what do you want from us? There's, this, there's a fucking god snake coming down from the sky. I feel like there's bigger issues. I'll be honest. You guys feel like there's bigger issues over here? I feel like there are much bigger issues. Okay. And we can't put Lawrence all, all, back. All, all of a sudden, you see Lawrence getting led in front of people, and he does not want to come out. He's like, no, I don't want you got to be fucking kidding me. He comes out and he's covered in ornamental robes, sashes, and there's a big, big stupid hat on his head. He looks like the Pope. Yeah. I mean, like, like, <laughs> Time like Pope. take, take every culture. Pope. Like, like, take, <laughs> take. It's <laughs> canon. Mm-hmm. You are the Time Pope. Yeah, right. Take, take the <laughs> entirety. Yeah, right. Take the entirety of every culture and every crazy thing they'll put on their holy men. He has a trinket or a color or a sash of something. And like they're throwing rose petals in front of him. Like it, it, he does, and he just shows up and he takes two steps out after being pushed out and goes, <sighs> Lawrence, you look great. You look like a multicultural. Shut Picard. up. Right. I swear to God. <laughs> Lawrence, you're the time Pope. <clears throat> I put up a thumbs up. Just like, you got this. I really he, he like looks your at you hat. as you do that, and like you, despite yourself, like have to put your thumb back, like, oh, it, like, like, son of a bitch. Yeah, right. Like, it's like I, I just, this is what I was trying to not be part of. What the fancy dress? Yeah, Anna, I feel like it's that's something not you a would dress. Like to wear. A what? It's, it's like oh, I'm defending my own prison. Honestly, no, it is a dress. It's a stupid hat. It's a stupid dress. A stupid ceremony, as he says to uh, like the Kaluba people, and it doesn't matter who has the power. You know, like as he does that, you can f- see that the quicksilver starts to sink a little bit. Lawrence, I feel like that's what they've been saying the whole time. It does seem to matter. That's why they made you the Time Pope. He doesn't really even hear your comment. He <laughs> just more. He he actually looks at the silver. That's the you know he's just watching it drop. He licks his lips. He goes, oh, shit. Guys, the time pulp just said, oh, and he, shit. And he takes, <laughs> takes a moment and he puts his hand, hands out towards you guys. And you feel a really weird sensation because around you, everything else moves back 30 seconds. You guys see the same. And everything else around you moves back before he made his comment. And you see the silver retract back in. And he takes his hands back. Shakes them out. No retraction like it used to be. Mm-hmm. There's a problem with anyone in my position. What we say and what we mean 
count. It's from our teachings that everyone else below us is able to bend something. If, if, if we can't keep it together, or you can't cons consider yourself balanced, all of what weaves this fragile world of ours together dissipates. That's kind of what this whole thing is. The five spheres, it's not about being powerful. It's about trying to actively express somebody else's power. Nature uses time, right? But the entirety of nature is decay. So it must end. It must, everything that lives must die. Fire takes that and brings it back into the soil. I mean, as a vampire, I kind of have an issue with that one, Lawrence. Well, that's the reason that most of us don't usually get along. You guys cheat the natural order. We don't cheat. And Jessica actually comes up and stands right next to you. He goes, that's why I find it interesting. Because they seem to have a lot of power with cheating the natural order. Again, Jessica, we don't cheat. Um, living forever for no reason. I mean, I know it's biblical. I um, mean, we live all times for many reasons. And it's more of a curse than anything. Have you met Cain? Have you met God? Same question. Same answer. Hmm. She actually looks at you and nods. <laughs> like, like, there's a... Huh. Yeah. Hmm. All right. From the druggie, interesting. And she takes a little I notepad. I swear to God, like Jessica, if you call me a druggie or... one more time, I'm going to... Are you not? I'm going to try and take the pencil with my mind. You do time, not space. No, okay. I'm going <laughs> to wait for her to write something. I'm going to try to unwrite it. Well, he did the, the cube thing. No, yeah, well, I'm, I don't do I don't do space stuff, but I, I I'm gonna you try. You can do time. Yeah. So yes, if you want to unwrite her statement, I'm gonna try and do that. Lawrence looks over to you and raises an eyebrow, and he goes, "I mean, like fire or flame, bro." All right, so this is how we're gonna do this: your willpower roll, your manipulation, and your academics. Okay, so all of my willpower that I have currently. Yeah, so you're going to put that into a thing. It's going to be a high roll. It's going yeah. to be nines. Whew. Okay. The thing's going to be awesome later. Yeah. I, mean, it's still, I still got like all my dice because I have high manipulation. Sure. And all of my willpower is currently. Mm -hmm. So that helps. This is actually one of the first times you're trying to use your power too. So. Oh, you were close, weren't you? Wait, you said two nines? Mm-hmm. Reroll the ten. I did. So I got, I got two and then I got... I'll accept two nines. You see her writing down your statement, mm. and you can see her like pause. The rest of you go into a moment of blackness that you don't realize. You can see the only one else that moves is Lawrence. He looks over to you and he winks, and you can see her undo it. Like it's it's a bothersome undo. Yeah, but she goes and she goes ah, and has no idea what you said. She mm. knows that she was going to write it. But has no idea the brilliance of what you just said. Don't write about me in your book. Well, that won't be a problem. You don't usually say something interesting. Good. Her book. Glad we're on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> it took a second, but it landed. Jinx comes. Uh, she takes square center. She's like, we can keep on going back here, and there's a lot more that we need to talk about. She looks over to, uh, um, to Ginsu and goes, a lot more that we all need to talk about. I understand that maybe I was a little crass, but honestly, the introductions were a little bit horrible tonight. Looks strictly at you. I thought I made a great impression. I got up there all by myself. I, I think <laughs> that we can all work together, but honestly, she takes out her thing and he goes, I think that Lawrence, being a master of time, should have known that the sun's coming up Fairly soon, maybe it's time for you guys to go back home. Well, you want us to go home or you want us to talk? She looks like you can't stay here. There's actual sunlight here. I thought we were underground. Like you start to see a little dome at the end of it start to go up. 
Recharging our magic does not have dark entities. We can't have you here. We can't house you. Okay, so I guess we'll have to come back again tomorrow night. Maybe you can make more of our light bulbs blow up. Wait, did we just take Lawrence down to become a time pope? Is that what we did? Well, I, I think, think so. so. Torrance takes off the pet hat and goes, I, if Jinx. one of you called me a time pope one more time, I'll turn you back into a baby. I'll come now, Would Lawrence. Would I be a vampiric baby? He looks and he's not completely sure of the answer. <laughs> we'll get back to that. Yeah, All right. like, I'm not... <laughs> like that actually does confuse. <laughs> hey Lawrence, He's like you know, I didn't go through all this. Ah, like, this so all just landed on the time me. Pool. Hey that, Lawrence, hey Lawrence, you're. Have you ever raced to the sun? Oh, ho, 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 I like where this is going. Yeah, you're all gonna really like where this is going. Your phone goes up. I look at it. Hopefully, Emperor's Im- package. Emperor's package. Emperor's package. Emperor's all right, package. all right, time, Daddy. I got a surprise for you upstairs. Yeah, all right. Is that better? Time, Daddy. <laughs> Is that better or? He goes, you fucker. <laughs> I'm going to wear the damn robes now. You know this. I like, like them. I, mean, this I is... think they're cool. You look All right. Them. How about Time Cardinal? <laughs> can I can I borrow the robes sometimes? He, he walks past you and get, it puts it like on your head. The hat. Time King. The hat on your head. <laughs> so you now have a. Oh, thank you. Right. Time Does this Prince. make me legendary now? He goes. He goes. Honestly, I we have to go. The <laughs> Duke of Time. It's fine. We still have to go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. right. And on your phone, it just consents like Emperor's package. Emperor's do, do I package. Click any, do I have to click anything on it? You, or You pick it up. Yep. Click. You see a small car as if it was like a Hot Wheel car. Right to the right as if it's a scroll. You see the beginning of the wheels of another car. To the right. Skyline. To the right. Muzzle car. Mm-hmm. To mm-hmm. the right. A rally car. Okay. Hatchback. Mm-hmm. To the right. Like souped up Porsche convertible. Mm. To the right. A souped up uh Honda Civic. Civic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go Honda uh, Civic Sport. I'm gonna look at Lawrence and go, American or foreign? Like, what do you mean? That's all I need to know. I mean, I guess I'm foreign, so all right. <laughs> Okay. Uh, then I click on the Civic. As you click, it goes all chosen. This one goes back up to the club, not to the third floor. This mm-hmm. time it drops you off on ground level. Like ground level. Gotcha. Cerberus outside? He is. Hi, buddy. Gra- growling at the poor dude <laughs> that like is just like hanging out with him. Because oh, Cerberus, come on. Rawr. What? Idiot. Why? It took too long. For what? Where'd you go? Downstairs. Mm, we gotta go home. Good. Sun's S- coming up. Sun. Yeah. Mm. You wanna go fast? Convertible. <laughs> you see. Hey, do you have a convertible in your phone? <laughs> yep, you see. Teet, 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 teet. And all they're right, all I, civics? No, they're all different cars. So I'm gonna point okay. at all the cars gonna, that he named. I'm gonna point at the souped up Honda Civic. Like, that one's yours, and then I point at a 1963 split window Corvette, which is mine. Fair enough, because that's a muscle car. All Rude. Right. <laughs> I want the drop top Porsche. You got it. Dope. Yeah. Severus looks at you and goes, "Good." Mm-hmm. You you you, dr- you 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 the, the said roof comes back, and he just gets in the into the passenger seat. His head's like. Like his chest hits halfway the, out. I mean, like, yeah, it just is. I'd like to say it's a yellow cayenne. It is exactly what you want a it turbo. to be. It's exactly That's my what dream you car. <laughs> Done. And then there's a skyline. Uh, you can pick what you want. Or you can pick what you want, yeah. Really fast moped. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be on a motorcycle? That's pretty cool. As oh, a, my no, God. No. Um, uh, the Jessica, if you don't do that, the Jessica car is getting a fucking bike. Then he should. Um, I'm going to take a 1972 Barracuda. Ooh, booyah. Fair enough. Yeah. Vroom, vroom, vroom. 426. All right. Yeah. This is the car. Does pick a motorcycle. Mm. Clicks in. It's a uh, it's a Jixer 1000. Beautiful. The RX version. Amazing bike. Uh, rest. Oh, my car is yellow. It matches my wig. I mean, orange. Sorry. I was going to say, was it your wig orange? Yeah, it was. Sorry. Rasputin walks up. He's in an actual Indy car. <laughs> Of course he is. Mm-hmm. Oh, mine, by the way, it's matte black. 
with a single pinstripe of gray. I love it. <laughs> just, I don't I just get it. in. I'm like, huh, yeah. And are we missing anybody? Ross Buton? What did he He's get? in an indie car. Mm. With, the, with the painted on front, like. I think that's everyone. Lawrence Day, Anna, Danica, Ross Buton, Jessica. Jessica. Yep. Yep. And thank you again, guys, for joining us for an episode of Vampires and Vitae. It's really you people that are supporting us right now that is making this community everything that it is. Remember to like and subscribe. You can always find us every Friday uh, at Spotify or Apple. There's a, another few things that you can grab as well if you check out our Facebook page. Uh, that's Vampires and Vitae at Facebook. Ooh, now on Reddit. Ooh, now on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's 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 really it's it's all of us working together that's making this as enjoyable as it is. So just remember, always take a big bite out of life. <laughs>